In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this cool looking player appearing effect. What's up, my name is Eli Clark, I'm a sports videographer and creative at App State, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the player appearing or disappearing effect depending on how you execute it. But this is a subtle little quick effect that I've used in some past videos that y'all have asked me how I've done, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a tutorial and show you guys. This whole thing is going to be done in After Effects. I mainly edit in DaVinci, but all of my VFX and stuff are done in After Effects. So if you don't have After Effects, I'm sorry, you're probably not really going to be able to follow along with this tutorial. But let's go ahead and hop in and start this thing. So hopping right into After Effects, the first thing we're going to talk about is when to do this effect and what clip to use this effect on. So I have this clip right here. I'll play it through. You can see it's just him doing a three point celebration after he made a three. So you want it to be really quick. You want this effect to be quick and you want it to just be like, whoa, what just happened? You don't want it to drag out too long or else it's going to be too noticeable. So just for the tutorial's sake, I'm going to come up here and apply a LUT. If you want to use this LUT, uh, I do have a LUT pack and the link will be in the description to go pick that up. So if you want to go pick that up, just go ahead and click that link in the description. It'll take you right to it. But anyways, let's talk about the background right here. So you can see behind him, he just has the court in the background. There's no fans, there's no faces. There's nothing that will get After Effects confused when trying to content aware fill this out. So that's something you want to think about when choosing a clip and choosing a time to do this effect. If you want to shoot specifically to do this effect, then you're probably going to want to shoot from higher up in the stands or the concourse or something like that. So that way you're shooting down onto the court and you don't have anything that's going to mess up After Effects in the background. So the first thing that we're going to do is determine where we want him to actually appear in this effect. So if we play it through, I think I want him to appear like right here. So you can see how quick that is. It's like half a second. So we're going to come here to layer. Let's click on this first. We're going to come here to layer, marker, and add a marker. So that way we know where we want him to actually appear. And then we're going to hit control shift D to split our clip. And we're just going to be working with this first part of the clip. So if you come up here and hit this little icon, or you can hit P on your keyboard to bring up the pen tool. The first thing we're going to do is make a mask. So if you scroll in on your mouse wheel, it will zoom in. And then we're going to, if you hit H on your keyboard, you can move around so that you can move this wherever you want. And then we're going to make a rough mask around our player. So it doesn't have to be too great, but make it pretty rough as I'm doing right here. You don't want it to be too close to him, but you also don't want it to be too far. So something like this is pretty good. And then once we connect it, it should pop up like this. So if we hit this arrow over here and go into our mask, it should say add. Let's click that drop down and make this say none. That way you can see what you're working with. And I'm also going to change the color of this mask to red just so it contrasts with the court a little more. And then what we're going to do is come over here to our tracker panel. So when we come, if you don't see your tracker panel, come up here to window and you should see tracker right here. Just make sure you click that and it should bring this up. So if you click this little arrow right here, it'll automatically play your clip through and search for your subject and follow it. But I don't like that. I don't think it's accurate enough for me. So I like to go frame by frame and this will detect where your subject is each frame and you just click this until we get to the end of that clip. And then as you can see, if we scroll in, it's just going to follow your subject with the mask. Now, sometimes I get a little too close. Like I think right here, it's getting a little too close to his feet. So I'm just going to come here and drag these out. Let's keep going. It's getting a little too close to his feet again. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. And then just watch every part, make sure it doesn't get too close to his hand, too close to his head, something like that. And you're just going to keep it a good distance away from his body because we're going to content aware fill this in just a minute. So go all the way through and mask out your subject until the end of this clip. And then I'll check back in. Okay, so once we have this tracked all the way through, you can see if I scrub through, it is tracked pretty roughly, but that's fine. We're going to come down here where it says none and we're going to make this say not add. we're going to make it say subtract so that that way he's just gone from the video and we can see through into the transparent background so then let's click this drop down right here to where and go to where it says mask feather and we're going to feather this to maybe like 12 13 something like that that looks pretty good maybe i'll do a little more we'll go to like 15 ish 15 yeah Okay, so that looks pretty good. That way it's just gonna feather the outsides just a little bit so it blends in more with the background and the rest of the video. So let's go to this first frame and we're gonna come down to content aware fill. So if you don't see your content aware fill, obviously go up to window and make sure you toggle on the content aware fill tab right there and it should pop up. And then you're gonna click create, re create reference frame and then what that's gonna do is bring up Photoshop or Photoshop beta, whichever one. 
and all you're gonna do is come up here to the lasso tool so I like to right click and then go to polygonal lasso tool and then just make a selection around our selection or around the part where obviously the transparent checkerboard is so just do something like that and then using the AI generated fill we're gonna try to fill that in so we're gonna hit generate right there and just let Photoshop do its thing okay so once that happens it's gonna give us a couple of different options and let's just click through so I think this one looks the best the lines look the best but don't worry about the lines if they're not perfect the effect is so quick that nobody's gonna really know and one thing I did want to say is if Photoshop doesn't do a good job and just gives you something whack the first time, you can just hit shift and click this, hit right click and merge layers and then just select whatever it did and redo the generated fill until it gives you something good. But this looks pretty good so we're going to hit control S to save that and then we're going to go back into After Effects and you can see that we have, you know, we have a pretty solid frame right there without our player in the frame. So. The other thing I like to do is go through maybe three fourths of the way through and hit create reference frame again. So that way we have we have a little more information to give Photoshop or not to give Photoshop to give After Effects to work with when trying to fill in our video. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing that we just did. So make a selection of your transparent part again and we're going to generate a fill it again and hopefully it gives us something good. OK, so perfect example here, as you can see what is this so we have these random looking weird people in their underwear that it's given us so this one takes up the least amount of space so we're going to go ahead and go with this one so i'm going to hit shift and we're going to merge these layers this is what i was telling you to do just a minute ago and we're going to select our subject right here whatever this guy is and then we're going to hit generate a fill generate and hopefully it gets rid of this guy and just gives us a cork. Okay, so now we have this, let's click through our options. This one probably looks the best, so we're gonna hit Control S to save that, and we're gonna go back into After Effects, and as you can see, that frame is there. So we have this frame, and then we have this first frame, and what we wanna do is fill in all the other frames in between and after those. So what you wanna do is hit Generate Fill Layer right here, and then After Effects is going to analyze the frames that we just created in Photoshop and generate something for the rest of the video. So make sure you let this bar fill up. I think it goes through twice and then we're going to see what After Effects gives us. OK, so now that that is completed, if we drag through right here, you can see it has filled in most of it. And then we have him start to fade on. But I think the only reason he's fading on is because we made this reference frame a little bit um, like midway through the clip instead of at the end. But that's fine. This is still what we kind of want. But what we're going to do is take this clip that we made the mask on and we're going to duplicate that and drag it all the way up to the top here and then come down here. Let's go into our mask and we're going to hit add on our mask so that we can actually, you know, we can see Donovan or that's his name. It's Donovan Gregory right there. So this is the player. And then what we're going to want to do is just opacity keyframe this. So if we come down here to effects, not effects, we're going to transform. You can keyframe your opacity so we're going to have it to zero right here and then we're going to go to the end of this and have this at 100 so you can see he just kind of fades on right there and you have don't have him here now if you think that's too quick you can take this first keyframe and just drag it um, forward a little bit so you have a couple more frames of him just not on and i think that actually looks a little bit better so he just appears out of thin air and that's the effect that you want there's really not that much more to it but if you wanted to you can pre-compose all these you can add zooms you can do all of that stuff but that's just a little more that doesn't really have anything to do with the effect so that is how you do it if you have any questions for me um, hopefully this was pretty straightforward and simple but if you have any questions just leave them in the comments or dm me on instagram my instagram link will be in the description so go give me a follow on there and dm me with any questions you might have i will get back to you but let me put this um, on fit and show you guys the final result. So if you just throw that in a video real quick, people are going to see that and they're just going to be like, like, whoa, like what just happened? How did he do that? And that's exactly what you want. You want something that will catch the viewer's attention, especially if you use this like right at the beginning of a video or something like that. But I hope this helped you guys. If you did, if, it, if you did enjoy and it did help you, make sure you drop a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications for future videos, and I will see you on the next one.